Hey friends, am I the only one who wasn't aware of how crucial land restoration, desertification, and drought resilience are to our planet's future? Today's topic is close to my heart and incredibly important. It's about the land we live on and how we're stepping up to tackle some of the most pressing environmental issues in 2024. Desertification, land restoration, and drought resilience. This year marks a significant chapter as the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia hosts World Environment Day, shining a spotlight on these crucial themes. The theme, our land, our future. We are part of hash generation restoration. Desertification isn't just a big word, it's a scary reality impacting 40% of our planet's land, affecting half the world's population, and putting almost half of the global GDP. That's a whopping 44 trillion US dollars or about 3,618 lakh crore rupees at risk. Just imagine. But even more alarming is the rate at which the number and duration of droughts have increased by a staggering 29% since the year 2000. If we don't act now by 2050, drought could affect more than three quarters of the world's population. So this is where the action begins. Running from 2021 to 2030, the UN Decade on Ecosystem Restoration is a call for our collective action. It's not just about stopping the damage, it's about healing, about breathing life back into our exhausted soil and vanishing habitats. This initiative is crucial for achieving the Sustainable Development Goals. And this isn't a battle we're fighting alone. From local communities to global leaders, everyone is pitching in. Just this past June 1st, volunteers came together to remove trash from their local lake, plant native flora, and even create seed packets to take home. And all this while enjoying a picnic. Talk about making a difference while having fun. But let's broaden our perspective a bit. In Geneva, diplomats and experts are gathering under the banner of the Geneva World Environment Day celebration to foster international cooperation. They're discussing how to tackle these environmental challenges using the multilateral diplomacy system. It's about presenting a united front to face these global challenges. So what can you do to contribute to this cause? Start small, plant native species, support a local cleanup, educate yourself and others about sustainable practices. Every little action counts towards the bigger goal. And remember, it's about making sustainable choices that benefit our planet and future generations. 2024 isn't just another year, it's a call to action. As part of hash generation restoration, it's up to us to ensure that the future of our land is marked not by barren deserts, but by thriving, resilient ecosystems. Let's come together, restore our land, combat climate change, and preserve the earth for generations to come. And speaking of initiatives, the Indian government has launched a massive tree plantation drive for World Environment Day 2024, aiming to plant a whopping 7.5 crore trees across the country. This effort is part of their larger commitment to restore degraded land and combat desertification. Here are some of the key initiatives taken by the Indian government for land restoration, desertification and drought resilience. According to the Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change, India has increased its forest cover by 0.56% from 2019 to 2021, which is a significant step towards combating climate change and promoting biodiversity. And did you know? The Mission Life Initiative by the Indian government is also making waves. It focuses on promoting sustainable lifestyles and reducing carbon footprints. The initiative encourages individuals to adopt eco-friendly habits, such as reducing plastic use, conserving water, and promoting renewable energy. The government of Sikkim is also making significant strides in environmental conservation. Known for its organic farming practices, Sikkim has implemented several initiatives to tackle environmental issues. These initiatives are aimed at promoting sustainable agriculture, conserving biodiversity, and building resilience against climate change. Thanks for joining in, and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button if you are ready to join the fight against desertification and be a part of the solution. Together we can make a difference. Let's do this!